Crack! Limited edition gold. Is this the new gold standard of pre-workouts? High steam junkie! Hello there guys and welcome back to yet another hypey review of us, the Review Bros. My name's Aaron. It's so good to have you checking in for this new limited edition gold crack. I'm obviously very, very excited to get into all the usuals today. The taste, the price, the label, the effects. Sum it off. Is this going to be the next high stim junkie pre-workout? And if you're new here, please do subscribe to the channel. So many more reviews coming very, very soon. All free information, 100% honest, accurate, comprehensive, and good for you. And please do like and comment below. All the good stuff for us, guys. It means the world. Appreciate you all checking in for this. Into that least important section, but we still care the taste and the mixability of the product. Now it comes in three different flavors it comes in rainbow candy it comes in cherry limeade and it also comes in refreshing watermelon all sound pretty good actually i'm not a massive watermelon fan the one we're going to be reviewing today is the rainbow candy simply because that would have been the one me and craig would have chosen now guys showing you a little quick clip a flat scoop gets you 14 grams but the serving size is only 12.5. So do be warned, we say this with all high stimulant products, please weigh your scoops. You'll be getting above and beyond if you don't. And that could be very risky with a savagely powerful looking label. Here it goes. So we're looking at a little bit of froth in there, nothing major. We are looking at relatively good mixability with a little sediment on the bottom potentially from some pump ingredients that are in this product smells very rainbow candy in the air let's see how it tastes that is very very sweet probably one of the sweetest pre-workout drinks i've had a very 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 slight bitter background to the aftertaste but honestly, not bad at all. Not bad considering what you've got in this product. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. I think that's a safe bet. It's not the nicest pre-workout I've ever had, but it's definitely, definitely doable. We're not complaining. We're just chugging this back and getting into training. Moving into that pricing segment, we have a nice little discount code for you guys, so do watch this bit. So, you'll head on straight on over to the official Dark Labs Pro website where you can find all of their products. And we do have a discount code there. RB10 knocks off 10% off of this, and also any of the other products should you decide to pick one of those up. So I can tell you, it actually drops the price of the product down to $53.29 for a full tub, that is $2.13 per go. We have a consistent scale, you guys know that drill. 4.5 out of 10, so a bit more expensive than your average product. It is a limited edition product and it's a high stim product. There's no denying that looking at the label anyhow. I actually think that's really well priced. It's only just missing a five out of 10. UK guys, you're wondering how much this would cost you. 38 pounds and seven pence for a tub, which respectable when you consider that 25 serving dosage we're looking at a pound and 53 per go so again in that 4.5 category do i think that's good honestly yes i do especially considering it's limited edition i don't know how long it's going to be around so if you're looking at picking it up then it's probably the best time to do it right now We're into the ingredient profile of this product. How does it compare to the Crack Limited Edition, whether it be the Christmas one or the one in my hand here, the Halloween Edition? I can tell you they are the same label. It is just going down the Limited Edition route, very similar to how they did here. So if I throw that one aside, label up on the screen right now, citrulline malate, five grams, a respectable dose. Would have liked to have seen it a little bit higher in truth for nitro oxide production, giving you pumps in the gym. I do think it will still do the job, especially when combining it with another ingredient in here. Beta alanine, two grams, little on the low side. We'd like 3.2 if we've been honest with you, but it's going to help with the itchy, tingly feeling 
and it's going to help with endurance down the line when we build up the system. Agmatine sulfate is that ingredient I was on about. A gram again, another route of boosting nitro oxide levels up in the blood, helping blood flow and nutrient delivery. It's going to work well with the citrulline to give you some pump in the gym. 500 milligrams of alpha GPC for focus and concentration cognition. The same comes with N acetyl L tyrosine following it again, 500 milligrams. We'd like to have seen that doubled, the N acetyl, but it will work with the alpha GPC to get you in the zone concentrating on life. And we move into two forms of caffeine, totaling 500 milligrams, may I just add, caffeine anhydrous and caffeine citrate. Caffeine citrate, as you guys might know, hits fast. 10 minutes, 15 minutes after taking the product, you get that instant hit. Caffeine anhydrous takes a little bit longer to digest, about 30 minutes, therefore a secondary boost of caffeine. It's good to see that combo there. Aria Gerensis at 300 milligrams, a very good dose, guys. Again, central nervous stimulant boosting those energy levels, stimulation, and focus and concentration. I like to see it. Two amino next, DMHA at 200 milligrams, nothing to be sniffed at at all. It's gonna give you that highness, that euphoria, that sense of urgency, and the stimulation. Really good ingredient. Next up, this is the only slight difference in the label to the other crack. Other crack said DMAA. This one says geranium extract, which is often a cover for DMAA. Is it gonna be that? Is it gonna be that when we go to the effects of it? Next up, hordenine, 50 milligrams, and naringin, again, 25 milligrams. Those two ingredients are gonna help with fat burning properties, but they're also gonna upregulate the stimulants in this to really give them a boost, a real boost within the system, and make them longer lasting and more potent. That's what we are hoping for. We wrap this label off with a couple of little ingredients here. Black pepper for the absorption and digestion benefits it brings to get those into the system as efficiently as possible. And last but not least, alpha yahimbine, one milligram, which is, for, in our opinion, the sweet spot. You're not going to get the negatives, but you're also going to get the positives. The upgraded heartbeat, the, um, the stimulation, the, the just feeling of power. We like it there at one milligram. So yeah, a comprehensive label. Obviously the same as the old ones. Have you used the old ones? Let's get into the effects. It's the bit you guys are honestly here for, the effects of this product. Let's start at the beginning. No betralanine tingles, really, really don't really feel that. And even if it was at 3.2, I don't believe you would because the other ingredients in here are going to be a bit too powerful and take the front seat over that betralanine feel. So if you like betralanine, it's more of a negative one in this instance, but we don't personally miss it. And I can tell you why. I'll tell you why. So I sat in the car 30 minutes after taking it. I was like, oh, I don't really, I feel it. I can feel the highness coming in. I can feel a wave of euphoria, but nothing extreme. I was like, mm, is it not going to be the same? I pick up the weights. I get the heart rate up. And with that heart rate, starts kicking in. This pre-workout, it is not to be messed around with. It is potently strong. And what I'll say is, it did feel slightly different to me than the original crack, and it felt slightly different to me than the crack limited editions of old. In that it felt more of an aggressive pre-workout. It felt more like an energy hit rather than the crack limited editions before. They've been a more of a mind thing. Highness, euphoria, just floating around the gym. Really nice feeling, mood elevation. This one for me, it felt a bit more, ah! Kill those weights, drive, force, energy, power, rather than into the mind. But honestly, guys, as I got through my session, as the heart rate worked, as I worked, this pre-workout worked with me. It gave me ample energy, way above a training session at hand. The highness come, would kept coming over me. More and more and more. It just kept on giving. It really is very similar to the crack limited editions in that sense. Obviously it's the same label guys. Do I think it's the same? Yes, I do. I think there's DMAA in here. I think there's that DMHA highness. I think there's that energy and I think there's the pumps as well. They were nasty. They were surprisingly good, which is very hard to achieve. For a pre-workout, it's hard to achieve a high level of pump and a high level of euphoria and energy. Don't get me wrong, the pumps weren't amazing, but they were a good eight to nine out of 10 for me. The energy was freaking up there, guys. You feel like you wanna kill the training session at hand. You wanna demolish set to set to set. You wanna keep going. You wanna drag yourself away from the gym after. You wanna take little rest time. You wanna, you fucking wanna kill it. It is a solid pre-workout, guys. That Dark Labs, they kill it each and every time. This product is no different. Really, really good. Now, there are some negatives to this product. There's no denying that. Very similar to the one before. You feel this product way, way 
way past your training session. You could take this early morning, you'll still be struggling to sleep that night. It is highness for hours. Very similar to the Crack Limited Edition before. No surprise really, it's, pretty, it's the same label. They've just put geranium instead of DMAA. It is strong and comes with that, the other negative. Appetite suppression. Again, that can be a strength or a weakness depending on what you want. I personally don't like it because I want to have a quick meal after training. I want to get those calories in. If I didn't, I wouldn't mind this. So it's a strength or a weakness depending on what you are looking for. Alpha Hembine dosage is sweet spot. You get a little bit of a sweat on, but I think that's just due to the work rate you're putting in. You don't get dribbly mouth. You don't get excessive thirst. You don't get any of those negatives that can come with Alpha Hembine. I think even if you are very, very sensitive to it, I don't think it will really come with those negatives. So yeah, truth be told, a very potent stim junkie product. Absolutely not for beginners, absolutely not for intermediate users, absolutely for advanced users only, bear that in mind. And I truly recommend you weigh that scoop. If I just did a slightly heap scoop, even a flat scoop, and some of you guys are just gonna go like that, you'll be, fr you'll be beyond gone. You'll be, you'll be literally on the edge of life because this is powerful, and you be warned, crack gold edition. So yeah, what do you guys think? Are you gonna purchase this product? Are you gonna dilate your pupils and get high as a kite on this stuff? Let me know in the comments below. We wanna know all the good stuff. Have you used this, the old crack, any of the cracks before, any of the Dark Labs editions? Let us know. As always, guys, stay stimmed. And this will do it. Look at my eyes.